it's Austin and Amber and we are the Reed family and we are here today with our first ever video vlog and it's very exciting for us um, this blog is simply going to be what it's called the adventures with the Reeds it's going to be all about our adventures what is going on in our lives through Africa through our missions through helping the children with albinism through just our day-to-day -day, whatever we're doing to further our ministry further our missions and further the kingdom of God and we are so excited to ha start this today, to start sharing with y'all this wonderful, exciting journey that we've been adventuring on. And uh, we come today bearing some amazing, awesome news. And Amber, what are we here to share today? Oh, as of yesterday, October 11th, um, we found out that our plane tickets are officially booked. And we are all signed up for a language school in Tanzania. And we will be leaving for Tanzania on October 18th, which is this upcoming Wednesday. Woo! Um, and we will fly to Amsterdam, then Dar es Salaam, and then to our final destination, Arena, Tanzania, where we will participate in language school. and get to know our context better and get to know the language so that we can talk with people <laughs> yeah. um, and just really get to know Tanzania better. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling about this? I am going to be completely honest and this has been a really, really long struggle for us and it's been an amazing journey. Um, it's had highs and lows and it's been all over the place. but we know that God is in this and so I know I'm personally feeling empowered that I think would be the word that God is behind us right now uh, he literally we boldly proclaim that this month was the month we would be leaving and it is happening mm -hmm. and so just be able to pray those words out to God to say I know that you can do this and to see it happen and to see the plane tickets be bought by itinerary in our hands and to know we are leaving we are leaving right in the middle of October right when we desired to go and it was in God's plan and mm -hmm. so uh, it's nerve-wracking um, traveling 8,000 something miles is always nerve-wracking uh, I believe you leave Wednesday and don't even get there until Friday mm -hmm. which is absolutely crazy uh, but you know it's all in God's plan and mm -hmm. so I'm excited I could say mm -hmm. what about you babe well if you really want to know how I'm feeling check this out So as you can see, I'm pretty excited yeah. about moving to Tanzania, um, but also a little bit nervous and um, maybe even a little bit scared. Um, I've never moved this far away from my family and from my friends, and and we're really starting a whole new life there, um, starting completely over. And so that'll be something interesting and something that I'll have to learn along the way how to do and um and adjust and, and prepare myself and um as i like to be prepared i've already started packing and getting things <laughs> ready to leave and um tying up loose ends that we've had here in texas and um getting everything ready to go so that we're ready um, it's kind of hard. I mean, picking up everything you own and taking two or three suitcases and a backpack and how do you pick and choose? How do you say, you know, I want to take this and I want to leave this and the things that just fall in the maybe and this is too big to take and too, you know, whatever. And it's just, it's hard. Yeah. And, and we've been getting things that, you know, we might not be able to get in Tanzania, mm -hmm. um, like a cheese slicer or... Uh, rope. <laughs> that was the, one of the big things they suggested, was getting a good sturdy rope. <laughs> yeah. And um, a portable air compressor for yeah. our tires if yeah. we ever have a flat. International plugs. Yeah. <laughs> um, Gotta keep those phones charged. Yeah. Vegetable peeler. Yeah. Just, it's, it's weird, the little things, once you leave the states, that 
you know, we'll be able to get anything that we need, but those couple of things that you may want or make life a little bit easier, those are the things to grab before we go. And we have amazing mentors who've already informed us and given a list of those 20 things and uh, picking out, you know, pictures too and, um, you know, little stuff that means a lot to us um, to bring with us. So it's, it's hard, you know, picking out your favorite t-shirt and what, you know, what are going to be our daily clothes and how do you stuff all your clothes for, you know, we go on these mission trips for 10 days and it's so hard to pack for those. Imagine packing for a mission trip for two years. <laughs> yeah. So it's really, really something else. And um, to really give you an idea of, you know, what our luggage is going to look like, we just started, but if you look right here, this is what it already looks like of today. And soon these are all going to be completely full to the brim. So check this out. As you can see, that is just us now starting, and it's going to be, you know, we're going to have to put our whole lives into those suitcases and backpacks, and we are excited to go, and as we may be leaving and as we may be departing, we still haven't reached our complete goals for fundraising, um, for support sport discovery. Uh, our total goal is 61000 We're right now sitting uh, right around forty one. And we're really trying this weekend to get that extra 9000 to get to at least 50000 before we leave. Um, if you would love to partner with us, please, we are providing the link uh, with this video, and we'll provide the address as well. Mail it in, go online, partner in any way you can. And uh, lastly, we want to end this with uh, some prayer requests. Amber, what are your prayer requests as we leave? Mm, I would say really praying for um, us as we get ready to leave and preparing our hearts and minds, but also um, our families. Yes, definitely. Um, as we prepare to, to head out and prepare their hearts and minds as well. Mm -hmm. What about you? Uh, I say, you know, safe travel. And I say really mentally and physically preparing our hearts to go into the mission field, to go to the front lines, to go where God is calling us. And uh, just keep that in prayer. Um, and lastly, what's going on in Tanzania? Keep in prayer for every child and teenager and adult with albinism and the struggles they're going on. Because even though we're moving there and it's scary and all that, their lives are way more scarier and they're struggling way more. So please keep in, continuing them in your prayers as well. Yeah, yeah, and keep us in your prayers as well. And, and um, be looking out for um, lots of updates from us on social media and on um, our website through Global Lutheran Outreach. And keep an eye out for our, our new our new video blogs, or as we like to call them, vlogs. <laughs> and uh, this is going to be at least a once a month thing. Um, with the language school the next two months, uh, we don't know yet if, you know, we'll be able to post. And so, uh, and maybe two months before we post another one, but once we get established in our new home in Shianga, it's going to be a once a month thing to update you, maybe even twice a month, on what's going on, what's in our lives, and how we're feeling. And uh, just lastly, want to say thank you to everyone mm -hmm. who's partnering with us through prayer, through giving, through advocating, whatever. You really drive us to do what we do, and we thank you for that. And we give all the glory to God. Mm -hmm. And I think lastly, just continue to look for updates and continue to look for everything on the adventures with the Reeds. Bye, everyone. Bye.